Utilizing the Stream Deck with the hotkey feature inside of EVMUX is a great way to be able to go ahead and improve your workflow and make production even easier. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and set up the Stream Deck with EVMUX so that way you can make things a little bit easier when you're going live or recording content. So let's go and jump into my EVMUX account so I can show you just how easy it is to go ahead and get this all set up. So once you're inside of your EVMUX account, you're going to want to come to the top right hand side where you see your name displayed once you select that you're gonna see here it's gonna say hotkey settings you're gonna select that there it's gonna give you all the hotkey options that you have available whether it be playing scenes selecting scenes for edits using the templates and dynamics volume inputs banners slideshows going live and ending your live all in one place and we've created some predefined hotkeys for you to be able to utilize but you can go ahead and alter this to be anything that you like the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have your stream deck connected to your computer and that you have the stream deck software already installed as well once you have your stream deck software installed you're gonna see a clean canvas just like this or if you've used the stream deck for other things you may just have to utilize an empty space so what we have here is we want to go ahead and come to the right hand side in the Elgato Stream Deck software. You're going to want to come to where it says system. When you click system, you're going to want to select hockey. Now there's a hockey switch and then there's a hockey. Now the two differentiating factors between this is that a hockey switch means it's going to toggle on and off, meaning that you use a hockey switch for unmuting and muting your mic when you want the same hockey for the same action. And then a hockey is just going to be for one single action. So we're going to utilize both here today that way you can understand how both of these are utilized and then once you understand how it works you can go ahead and customize it to your liking so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play here select the next scene so you're going to see that the hockey that's predefined is control plus alt plus n so we want to make sure that we have the, the stream deck understanding that that's the hockey so to do that you're going to grab the hockey uh, feature you're going to drag it and drop it into an open space and then here at the bottom is going to say hockey click to assign on your keyboard you're going to select control alt n that's going to go ahead and plug it in there and now you're going to see that hockey is assigned we'll hit save and now one thing that you want to make sure that you understand is that in order for the hockey to actually work you need to make sure that you have the browser open and you're on the tab of the editor this way the stream deck knows to communicate with google to communicate with that specific tab so that way the hotkeys actually work so you can see here that i'm selected here on the open scenes when i select this button it's going to go ahead and move over to the next scene again you can see it's moving to my countdown timer it's moving to my main camera it's moving to my second camera and this is all happening for me just clicking that button so the next thing is we now know how to go to the next scene but how do we go back to the previous scene again there's going to be a hockey setup for that we're also going to use the hockey feature as well you're going to come down and we're going to do control alt p so again control alt p in the keyboard and that's going to go ahead and save it there we'll hit save and now you can see here that i'm on the second camera I'll hit previous and then I'll hit next. Now one of the good things you can do here inside of the stream deck is that we know that this first one is next so I can go ahead and put next scene and then for the next one I can do previous scene. That way I know what it is that I'm pushing so again I can start here at the top go to next scene which is a countdown main camera and then i can push it again and go to previous scenes and go back and forth so just like that with a click of a button you can go back and forth between scenes now let's go ahead and utilize the hotkey switch so you can see what that actually looks like so we're going to come back to the hotkey settings you're going to scroll down and we're going to utilize it to be able to mute and unmute your microphone here under inputs so we're going to come back to the stream deck you're going to select hotkey switch you're going to drop it in open spot and now here you're going to see hotkey right so the hotkey key is alt shift m so again alt shift m and where it says hotkey 2 this is where you want to input the same hotkey so we'll do alt shift m because it's going to do is going to toggle it on and off right so once we have that there we'll hit save we want to bring our attention here to this microphone you can see that it's on okay now i can go ahead and label this mic okay and now you're going to see here that when i push this button it's going to go ahead and toggle it on and off so you can see there there's my mic on there's my mic on, oh, on 
off on just with that click of a button making it real easy for you to be able to not have to use your hands um, mean your keyboard or your mouse to be able to toggle that on and off so the next thing we're going to utilize a hotkey switch for is you can actually showcase the last comments um, that came in from your socials here in the comments tab so for example I just have one here but if I want to display that which is a simple click of a button the last comment that came in I can go ahead and do that so I'm going to hit hotkey settings I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to go to where it says here banners show last banner uh, and last comment so to be able to do that we're going to use a hockey switch because again the hockey switch is great for toggling on and toggling off so we're going to grab the hockey switch we're going to drop that in there we're going to go ahead and say this is going to control shift C so we'll do control shift C again you'll duplicate it because it's a toggle control shift C and now you're going to see here that when I hit save and I go ahead and hit that button it's going to bring up the last comment and I can toggle that off so you can see here that utilizing the hotkey switch is going to allow you to switch and toggle on and off and then the hotkey feature is going to allow you to set a hotkey so the next thing that we're going to utilize a hotkey switch for of course is to be able to go live and end the broadcast so to be able to do that you come again to hotkey settings you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to see here it's going to say live go live or end broadcast so we're going to select the hotkey you're going to drag and drop it in there we're going to go and type in go live forward slash end and then we're going to assign this and it's going to be control G. So again, that's saved in there. I'm going to hit save. And now we want to draw your attention up here to where it says record or if you're live streaming. So once I click that button there, it's going to go ahead and say initialize. It is I'm going to go live and then I can also target it off and it's going to say end broadcast. So you can see here just how easy it is to be able to go ahead and set this up and improve your actual workflow utilizing the stream deck. These are going to be the features that you're going to want to utilize. The hotkey and the hotkey switch are going to be the two ones that you'll utilize inside of EVMUX and then again the very important note is to make sure that you have the tab for EVMUX selected and that you have the browser open so that way the stream that can communicate with inside of EVMUX now if you want to learn more about the hockey feature where I go deeper talking about each individual feature show you more demonstration of how to utilize the hockey feature go ahead and check out this video right here where I break down every element of the hotkeys inside of EVMUX so that way you understand what features you want to use and what hotkeys you want to utilize as well I'll see you guys in the next video.